you have learned about probabilities, different types of events, and their Venn diagrams. Now it's time to put all that into practice. Let's look at constructing Venn diagrams. Let's look at the coffee, tea, or juice problem. A group of 160 students were asked if they drink coffee, tea, or juice. We are told that 80 drink coffee, 70 drink tea, 80 drink juice, 42 drink both coffee and juice, 36 drink both tea and juice, 136 drink at least one of the drinks, 14 drink all three drinks. Now we must put all this information on a Venn diagram, but where do we start? Remember, 160 students were asked about the, these three drinks. So our sample size is 160. Now we have coffee, tea, or juice, meaning that we have three events in our sample space. 80 drink coffee. So the circle for coffee is gonna have 80. We know that 70 drink tea. 80 drink juice, 14 drink all three drinks. What does this mean? This is the intersection of all the three circles. So where all the three circles meet, we will put 14. Now 42 drink both coffee and juice. This is the intersection of the coffee and the juice circle. But we already have a 14 there, so how do we get the rest? We simply say 42 minus 14, and this will give us 28. Now 36, drink both tea and juice. So we do the same thing. We, we take the 36, we subtract the 14, and we get 22. Now 136, drink at least one of the drinks. This will help us find the number of people who do not drink any of the three drinks. How do we find this? We simply say 160 minus 136 and this will give us 24. Now we do not know the intersection of the coffee and the tea. In other words, we do not know how many people drink both coffee and tea. So what will we do? We'll simply put an X there because we don't know the number of people who drink both. But now how do we find the number of people who drink only tea? Remember the number of people who drink tea is 70. So what we do is 70 minus 14 minus 22 minus X. And this will give us 34 minus X. This is the number of people who drink only tea. Now let's look at the number of people who drink only coffee. Remember the coffee circle contains 80 people. So we'll do the same thing. 80 minus 28 minus 14 minus x which will simplify to 38 minus x. This is the number of people who drink only coffee. Now let's look at the number of people who drink only juice. We'll do the same thing here. 80 minus 28 minus 14 minus 22 which will give us 16. This is the number of people who drink only juice. What is the next step? We need to find x. Once we find x, we can answer any probability question that follows. But how do we find x? This is very easy because everything in our sample size added together must equal 160. So we'll say 160 is equal to 24 plus 16 plus 28 plus 22 plus 14 plus x plus 34 minus x plus 38 minus x. And we'll solve for x. We'll get 160 is equal to 176 minus x and therefore x is equal to 16. Then we will replace x with 16. 
then we know that the number of people who drink only coffee is 22. The number of people who drink only tea is 18. Now, in summary, let's look at the tips for drawing Venn diagrams. First, we need to identify the size of the sample space. Then we need to draw a circle for each event. We need to identify the total number of participants in each event. We need to find the intersection of all the three circles. If it is not there, call it X and continue. Calculate the remaining intersections. Usually one will be missing, call it X. Calculate X by adding everything up and equating it to the sample space. And there you have it, Venn diagrams. The more you practice, the higher the probability of you getting something right. So get practicing.